Hello. Hi. It's it's the pinball man. That's me. Um, hi, I see Chip. Hi, hello, Chip says. Hi, Ricky. Time to play with the Mario balls. Just the one ball. Uh, and Stryback, hi, hello. Stryback says, evening, Rick. Ready for more balls? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. More balls. I can do balls. I am the ball man. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I ran out of, of jokes. Any weasel? Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was gonna go through the door in this spooky ma mansion. Yeah. Okay. I forgot how to play this game. Go through the thing. Nah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, yes. I don't know. I was gonna say something and I completely forgot. You know what? Sure, let's buy one of these. Extra ball! Extra ball! Okay, let me save this. Yeah, I'm kinda sleepy. Well, you know how things tend to be on Thursdays. Nope. Thursdays are Thursdays. Oof. Nope. I am not taking that ball loss. There we go. Okay. Here it is. Now I just need to go through the thing. Chip says, see? Now there is more than one ball. Strabek says, if Mario used one of those leaves to become a tanuki, would he be larger in ball form? Yeah, see? This is what makes me think that a sequel would be great. The door is open. The door is a jar. Shit. Crap, sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm just getting... I just noticed the weasel is on the screen. Uh, I'm just getting warmed up. His snoot is covering a very important side of the screen. Sorry. My policy is the entire screen should... Oh, oh I used my mushroom by accident. The entirety of the screen should be visible at most times in the stream. Wait, where am I? Where am I going? Bye. Okay. That's a boss. Strabex says, Rick, that was a scrum joke. I am not very smart today. Strabex says, imagine if we couldn't see that bit of railing. See? The railing was actually important. Uh, and Chip says, boss time again. Is this a boss? Shit. How do, how do I do this? How do I do this? Ah, sorry. Oh, that's weird. The ball moves really weird. The gravity is like... Oh, it's like he has spin. He's putting a spin on Mario. Okay. Oof. Chip says, I don't remember at all. Okay, but yeah. So, how do I hit him? I guess I have to go around. 
Oh, yep, that's one. Okay. One. What was that? I heard the sound of, like, bloop. I'm sure this game is only gonna last like two more streams at this pace. Okay, got it. <laughs> so I did two hits at one go. Cool. Very cool. Oof. Okay, I should probably save after that, after that hit. So I can get the coins. Give me the coins. Nice. And there's a key. Oh, oh, there's blocks. Well, whatever. Okay, let's go stick the, the, the key in the door. Combo! Which is not rumble, it's combo. Um, oh, the, the, the castle. That's where the key, yeah, the keyholes are. Okay. One sec. Oh, and I need to mark that I got Big Boo. That's um, that's important. Oop. There we go. Okay. How do I hit that? There it is. Oh, this again. Spin. Why is Mario still under the spin? Okay, I need to save again because I haven't saved in a bit. Uh, yep, I definitely, I'm glad I saved. Okay, I need to go for the red switch. Fuck. Come on. Come on. Wait, oh, it's the... I forgot that that's the intended... Like, yeah, okay. That is the intended outcome. Oh my gosh, okay, my goosh. Okay. Get the coins! One coin! How much time did they give me? 90 seconds? 
Yeah, 90 sec 99 seconds. Chip says, oh my goosh. Uh, does anybody remember Goosh Goosh? Oh, and this is this is how my stream goes up the gutter. <laughs> Back when that kind of shit was acceptable. <laughs> so Rebecca sending a question mark. Oh my gosh. Oh my goosh, more like. I, I don't think I can, in, in good faith, I can show that. Wow. Come on, get the coin! Super Mario coin! Okay, here's where the last two are. Chip says, why did you have to remind me? Because it's it's an important part of internet culture. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is not gonna make sense to anybody but a few. <laughs> who, who know what that is. Okay, I have one minute to get the last coin. I think it's possible. Cerbex says, OH MY! In all caps. I think somebody found it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but... <laughs> Whoa. Cerbex says, I just read the description and now I officially know too much. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, where exactly did you de read the description, by the way? Because... <laughs> uh, just knowing which description you used. Uh, Chips is cursed with forbidden knowledge. Oh, yeah. Oh, why, why is the star there? That's an uncomfortable spot for it. Oh, there it is. Target. Shrubex says, know your meme. Okay, yeah, that, that description is fine. That description is perfectly fine. Uh, I'm, I'm just surprised that kind of stuff is just stuck on the internet for a while. Uh, hold on, I'm, I'm noting down that I got the coin, the red coin star. Great, okay. So, if I'm not mistaken, I think I can move on to the next area. Oh, there's also a block. Let me guess, one coin, one singular coin. Okay, I'm curious, I wanna see what's in the block. Maybe, maybe the first one was Japes. Oof. Oh, yeah, I forgot that there's a roller coaster. I keep forgetting the roller coaster is a thing. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, a singular coin, my favorite. What is the purpose of this block? What's even on the other block? And let's just go. Okay, now the next stop is, I think, in the cannon. Tropic says, are you telling me there are more detailed descriptions? And then, uh... A scaredy mode. Chip says, Urban Dictionary has one. 
Shavik says, please, no, I want to sleep tonight. I know so much more, like, internet curse content from the late tw 2000s. It's my bread and butter. Okay, so... There's this one. There's this one. I assume the... Oh! Oh, you can't go there! You can't go to the key room if you do not have a key. So, it's either ice or desert. Dessert. I'm gonna do the, um... Uh gonna do the, the snow one, I guess. Oh, this music? Also, I see my coins. Nice. This is... This is, this is some interesting... Uh, some interesting music. Uh, Chip says, this is very good. Oh, this song is good. No! I'm glad I saved. Oh, I think I know what's going on here. I think I know what the... Okay, I, th I think I know what the... Uh, what the puzzle is. Maybe. I'm gonna try to do this one. Shrubix says, Desert... Desserts. My favorite cutscene in Kirby 64. Hey, I can enter both doors there. Oh, this music is really good. Oh, I guess I'm gonna try to do this one instead. happening Okay, do I need to make like every snowman dizzy or something? Really good. <laughs> Crap. Shrubik says this BGM isn't quite what I expected from an icy place, but I like it. And then, ooh, a jam emote. I like that one. I need. I want animated emotes, but I know those are a bit more costly. And uh, right now, I'm not in the place to be frivolously spending. Wow, that's savage. Why am I getting pelted by snowballs? You know when in some shows and, and, and movies they try to show a character's turbulent past childhood as um as a, a kid getting pelted by with snowballs and getting bullied in the snow? Just what you needed. Winter themed bullying. Bullying for all seasons. I mean, what would bullying be in in, in spring even? I think summer bullying is like the default. What would constitute spring bullying? Only I think about stuff like this. Just Rick questions. What do we need to do? I guess I need to like hit all the snowmen at the same time. 
Rubik says, oh no, this is timed. I can see, yeah, I need to, I need to hit, I need to make every snowman dizzy, I think. At once. I hate it. Maybe a Joshi egg would be good here. Sadly, I do not have a Joshi egg. I could buy one. Or maybe I could try the mushroom and being bigger. Shrovik says, it rains a lot in spring, so maybe pushing them in a mud puddle? I keep forgetting rain is associated with spring. I keep seeing rain as... Um, What's the thing? I keep seeing rain as as a s summer thing. Um. Okay, let's try with the mushroom. There we go. Um, Shrubik says, I take it seasons are different in Mexico? Not really. I think I think rain is also part of spring here. Shrubik says, I've never been that far south, so I don't know for sure. No, I think it's pretty much the same. Got it. Yes. Okay. Got it. Oh, I got a Josh. Okay, maybe th this Josh will be useful for something else. This one, I don't know what this is. This is these guys. Oof. I think in this one I need to eliminate all the all the penguins. Combo. Combo. There we go. Shrek says almost left out the E in sure, which would have been a good pun now that I think about it. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good pun actually. That would be a good pun. All right, and we got this star. Okay, my next goal is that. Combo! Crap. Oh, crap. Crap. Whoa! Okay, that's new actually. That's a that's a new thing. <laughs> new star. Shrubik says I aspire to be one of those guys whose dialogue reads like a YouTube poop script. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You should be somebody who just randomly out of nowhere just goes sus sus. Remember when sauce was just like reversed SUS phrases? I think the YouTube poop community has been robbed of sus. As it has been appropriated as an Among Us joke now. That's a very tragic, I believe. Chip says combo ice and water world. 
Shabak says, oh, must be cold there. Can you imagine being contorted into a ball? Underwater? On an ice world? I don't think that's comfortable. Oh, there's actual, like, floating physics. Anyways, I got the star. No, no, no multiball. No, no multiball. I think we can go now. Oh, where am I now? Where is this? Nope. Chip says you'd freeze your balls off. Chip says open the last chest. Shit. I didn't know. You know what? I'm not gonna do that right away. Chip says, "Whoops, I didn't. I didn't think it was gonna be important." You know how this game, like the the. The chests do not seem important, and the blocks don't seem important either. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this one, which is I. I believe it's probably just smacking the shy guys. Skate guys? Hello. Oh, ooh, ooh. So do I get rid of the Josh and buy that? No. Do I? Because I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that later. Shrubex says, imagine hypothermia as a mechanic in the Mario game. <laughs> no, I'm gonna keep the, the Josh egg. I might need it later. Right now, I'm gonna focus on... On this. On the wow. Chip says, there's a tiny opening at the corner. I see that. That's why I said I'll probably do that later. Right now, I want to do this. And then next time I come here, I can do that. How many stars are there in this world? Because I have a Joshi egg and I don't want to waste it. If I can use it for something else. A star that might need it. Oh wait, okay. Don't, don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. There it is. Okay. Let's see. Got that. I think there's another room, right? Upstairs. Well, not not upstairs. Uh, there's another room in the next room. Oof. There's another room past the next room. Again. I want to do, use that Joshi egg if I if I can, instead of just wasting it. That's why I don't want to buy the. See strategy. There's a strategy. Even if there's safe states, there's strategy involved. Oof. Okay, that's easier. Oh, Monty Mo? Monty? What is Monty Mall doing here? Oh, ooh! Gimme that, gimme that, gimme that, gimme that! Give me the mush. Extra ball! Extra ball! Holy shit! Oh. 
Man. Can I get that Monty Mole? I don't think I can. Nope. We're going this way instead. Skate guys. Oh, there's a Joshi. There's a Josh. There's a Josh thing there. Does that mean I need the Joshua? Oops. Do I need to, to use Joshi egg? Oh, there we go. Oh, the egg goes there. Oh, I knew I was gonna need. I went. Well, I didn't know I was gonna need it like this, but oh shit! New game, new game. Oh, you cannot lose the egg. Interesting. Oh, I love that. Okay, I love that. I really love that. That's really clever. You need the egg. You need the egg. Imagine being a kid and like trying to pull this off. That's amazing. No. Tell me that was not a dead save. Oh no, they'll tell me that is not a dead save. Fucking hell. No, 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 no. That's not a dead save. It just rolls right into the the opening. That is so bad. That is so bad. Chip says, oh no. Ah, it's a dead save. No, okay, no, I refuse, I refuse. I have to be able to save this somehow. Why is there not a nudge button? Like, nudge the, the, the board? Well, yeah, it's not a real pinball table, but come on. Oh, there has to be a, a way to get Mario to, like, I can't, I can't, it's a dead save. I thought it was a, a safe save, what the fuck? I don't... Yep. Tropic says, you mean tilt? Yeah, tilting the table, whatever. I don't think it's possible to save this ball. Yeah, it goes like... It completely ignores my flippers. That is so bad. And like, Mario will never fall like fast enough to stop it. Shit. Okay. Yeah. This is this is a dead save. It's a dead save. My only choice is to try to get back there with the egg and Mario. Don't lose the egg. Open the door again and attempt the whole thing. No! No egg! Egg went... Egg w went into the hole. Okay, you said I should open the, the... Okay, you said I should open this. I'm gonna try to open the... The chest. Oh, there is something here. Okay. Strobix says F in, ch in the chat. Preferably the hot mic salsetta version. And Chip says F. And then a crying Rick. Oh man, I love F. F is the husband of the month. What is this? Is this a boss? This is not. Is, this is not a boss. Is it a boss? It's a fucking boss! Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm 
gonna save here because the intro save is, is kind of sucks. Chip says boss again. Great. I was not expecting to face a boss here. I guess I have to hit those things on the left and right. Oof. The good thing is that I don't have to manage egg while I'm in here. A bomb bomb? What? Oh, that's cool. Dude. More people should come and watch this. This is really cool. Is puffs you up big and round. Love that. Nice. That's one. Nice. That's two. Look at how frantic they get. Oh, I thought they—I thought they were synced. Nice. Okay. There it is. Oh. Oh, this could be a, a dead save. Hold on. Is it? What? It was a dead save. What happened? I did. I I did it again. I dead saved myself. Ah, fucking shit. Why do I keep doing this? Okay, not dead. Not dead. Not dead. I saved it. Got it. Yay, got the cannon. Uh, Strabic says the bomb almost being controlled like pinballs is a good way to use the main mechanic. Yeah. I like it. Okay, next thing in the agenda is bringing... Oh, I need to. Okay, no. The 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 here the thing is I need to make sure I need to make sure egg leaves the screen first. There we go. Okay. First thing is we need to move on to the next room. I need to take Egg to the next room. It's like a, a it's like an escort mission on crack. Lala. I could do this, but no, I need Egg. I need Egg alive. Egg. Egg. Please Egg. Where is egg? Do I need to shoot the egg into the next, into every following room? Are you kidding me? I hate that. Also, my my charging cord is stuck on my chair. I hate that. So I need to open the door and shoot the egg into the next room. That's... That's dummy. That's dummy thick. I hate that. Oh, 
I mean, this music is banging, but I hate that. Shit. Yeah, because I don't know where, I'm, where else am I going to get a, an egg. I wish I could store egg back into the B button. But I can't. Shrek says, based on the sound effect chosen for the toads, we can infer two things. First, they are deeply religious. Second, they speak Arabic. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that what we're doing now? Analyzing sound effects? Allah! <laughs> Glory 2? How ha a a r can it be to open <laughs> that fucking door? <laughs> How hard me be? Wait, no. Oh, almost! I think that's the one! Shit! That could have been it! Could have been me. This is gonna take a bit of time! Okay. Okay. So, I have a bit of a problem. I have a thing that I need to vent and be sussy about. Um, I've met a few furries whose uh, native language is not English. I mean, I'm one, but others. And um, some of them are, well, pretty much many of them are artists. They make things, they draw, they write stories and such. Uh, a pattern that I see extremely common is um, them being comic artists. They make comics. Here's the thing. A few times already, I found comics made, made by these kinds of artists that I find really fun. And I'm like, oh man, these are really good comics. Like the art is fun, the 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 story seems to be fun as well. Um, but there's something I find. Usually these comics are in English, yeah. In order to reach a more diverse population, that's what it, that's what you have to do. But they are written in a very spotty English. Like they have, they have a few um, issues where they become a little bit nonsensical sometimes and use like really weird words. Well, me in my wonderful, in my wonderful, um, I guess, vision to see my favorite comics made as well as they can be and also secretly wishing that I can be part of the creative process I sometimes get in contact with these artists and I say hey uh, I like do you need some help with like writing uh, proofreading and stuff oh I sent the egg the wrong door I ask hey can I can I help you with this? And they are very, very, very frequently. They usually just go, nah. Perfect! That was a perfect shot. Egg and then Mario. That was really good. Oh, Bobo. Hi, hello. Bobo says, I never had the patience for winning at pinball. It's fun in bursts and I could spend an afternoon with Space Cadet, but having to do an objective over and over like for like 20 times. No, I, I get it. I completely get it. Pinball is not my favorite game. Um, This game, in fact, is really bad. Um, But save states save it. 
because if you play with safe states, the game becomes a lot more fun and less frustrating. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? But yeah, artists. I I find artists whose native language is not English, and I want to help them proofread their comics, and they're just like, nah, I'm good, thanks. Which just kind of, <laughs> I mean, I feel, I feel, uh, first, I feel like, oh, okay, I guess, uh, they just don't want help. But I'm like, really? Isn't that a lesson that you learn in, in, like, children TV? That, like, it's okay to ask for help? Oof, almost. It's okay to ask for help. Okay, I'm gonna save this. Jackpot! Jackpot! Holy fucking shit, says Mario. Mario! So, what was that? That was the egg. The golden egg. Um, Chip says jackpot! Oof. Okay, now I'm gonna try to do this one. Also, I lost my egg, which means I can go back and safely um, buy the, the tiny shroom. Oh. What's happening? Shrubex says, English is my first language, but if I ever start a webcomic, you're free to proofread it all you want. Well, I mean, anybody can proofread anything. The issue is getting the getting the artist's attention to, um, you know, add the fixes. I actually proofread one webcomic. Well, it's like a very, very uh, seldom... It's It updates very rarely. Um, a furry comic on For Affinity for a friend of mine. Actually, the, the comic gets, gets um, updated so rarely that I pretty much only talk to him like once every few months when he's about to post a page and he's like here's the here's the okay at first he gave me like a rough version of the comic so I could proofread the dialogue but at some point he started just giving me drafts of the plot before he even makes it into a into a comic page I felt so weird about that. He started asking me, hey, how's this about the plot? I just didn't know what to say. I'm not... Like, fixing mistakes like those? Sure, I can work with that, but... Actually, like, acting on the plot? That just makes me nervous. Oof. Okay, what do we have to do here? Is this... Is this replacing all the colors? Maybe I have to make them all one color. Which means I have to attack specific shy guys. Interesting. Bobo says, Rick translation services when? I do trans... Okay, so... Yes, got it! Oops. Sorry, I went to make sure that was not a dead save. Um, if you check my fur affinity page... And you go to the, uh, I think, the commission section. There's actually a translation service that says that I can translate from Spanish to English, English to Spanish. So, <laughs> I do have a translation service. It's just very hidden away. And I don't really advertise it because low-key, I'm just kind of hoping people don't want to hire me for stuff. Because uh, I'm very busy. 
I'm a busy, busy man. And I mean, if I got paid, I would definitely work on those kinds of things, but... Honestly, I think that... Just about anybody can do translation. Well... Not anybody can do translation. There's a lot involved in translation and... Stuff like that. Huh. <sighs> Literal translation is terrible. Never do it like that. Literal translation is essentially when you take the words and just you make them exactly to what they are in the other language, but you do not adapt the meaning. Uh oh, one sec. One sec. But yeah, you need to you need to ca take care of when you're doing translation. You're also adapting it, being faithful to the source, but also making sure that it works in the language. Because remember, kids, language doesn't go just by itself. Language always drags luggage with itself, and that luggage is called culture. So always keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, one sec, one sec, I'm, uh, where is it? There it is, okay. Um, Starbuck says, it's kind of like viruses in Dr. Mario, get four of the same color. Yeah, kind of. Shabak says, English as she is spoke. That's that's a, that's a weird one, but okay. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for example, there's a, there's a translation project I've been putting off for the longest time. And that is um, translating an entire movie. Well, actually, I have two of those. There's two movies that I want to translate, not with voices, obviously. I'm not good enough for that. Uh, instead, I'm talking about uh, trans. I am talking about translating uh, uh, subtitles. So translating subtitles from English to Spanish, because I am trying to well give the the movies a broader audience. One of them is a uh, a Finnish language movie with English subtitles and I want to grab those English subtitles and translate them to Spanish. The other one is a Mexican movie. It's uh, in Spanish, obviously. Um, and translating the subtitles in Spanish to English. And that one is actually... I'm, it's so hard to translate a Mexican product into English. Because you have to keep the nuances of the culture and making sure it translates well in English. Shrovix says, kind of how only French people are likely to understand wanting to be the, the caliph instead of the caliph. I, yeah, I, I guess. That seems to be a uh, French pun of some kind. Also, where am I going from, from here? Am I going somewhere? Oh, yeah! I was gonna buy the, the tiny shroom. I remember now. Is that, is that snowman there for some reason? There it is. Also, yeah, hi, Distra, hello. Okay, I need to be small. Small. There it is, perfect. See, this is why safe states make everything better. Imagine me trying to do all this with just three balls and like no no retries i would still be in the same world probably with just three stars 
Why am I giving... Was I given a star? I was given a star. I was given a star. What is this star for? Chip says, into the igloo. The igloo. But yeah, I was given a power star. What is it for? Um, Shravik says, it's a reference to a French comic called It's No Good. The title character works for the Caliph of Baghdad and seeks to usurp his position, which is frequently expressed with the phrase Je veux et Caliph à la place du Caliph. Also, hi, Norami. Hello, Norami says, pinball fun? Pinball, pinball fun, actually. Oh, oh wait, there's a, there's a Monty. I thought that Monty Mall was not on the, on the, on the place. I thought he was, I thought he was uh, on a ledge and I couldn't reach him. I thought my ball got stuck for a moment there. Oh, I, th I think I know what's going on. I think I know what I need to do. I think I need to do this, but backwards. I need to do this backwards. This is saying hi to Narami. Strabek says, friends may not have neologisms, but it's not afraid of expressions from pop culture. Yeah. Oh wait, I was gonna load that. Okay, so I guess I need to hit the Monty Mall. I need to hit the Monty Mall. is killing me okay is anybody familiar I don't think anybody's familiar with this and is anybody familiar with the game space funeral it's an old RPG maker game says yeah I've seen all of it and Chip says I am okay yeah I needed the context so that game famously or maybe not too famously uses music from a record by the BBC something something uh, called Four Dimension which is full of absolutely delicious synth music from the 70s I think Um, yeah, Fourth Dimension by the BBC Radiophonic Workshop. Um, it's from 1973. It's just the most bizarre music. And I just love it so much to the point where at the moment I am hunting, I'm trying to find uh, a record, an original record of that, like an LP, an actual vinyl that I can play. Because I love that album so much. Well, where I'm going with this is that this music, this song specifically, reminds me a bit of something that you would find in that album. That part specifically. What would happen if you played this song in slow-mo? Like, 
25, 30% slower. Shit, why is this so hard? Starbuck says, I saw a guy play it once. It's one of my favorite RPG Maker games. Oh shit, I hit it! Okay, maybe this... This can be done. Yep! It's moving! It is moving! He's moving. Um, Chip says the BBC Radiophonic Workshop did the sound effects and music for classic Doctor Who. Yeah, I'm not surprised. The, the show had to be futuristic and needed, you know, spooky sci-fi music. Starbucks says, I can probably find out on YouTube. Yeah. Oof, he went too far away. Oh, I think this... Well, this is not a dead save per se, but it's, uh... I ruined it. Ruined. There we go, that's a good one. Shark says, did you say 25% slower? Yeah, try 25. Okay, I think I know how to do this. Did I hit it? I think I hit it. Oh! Oh, yeah. I'm glad I did not save. That was dead. That was dead, 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 dead. That was a dead save. Oh, crap. Almost. Okay, there must be a way to do this fast. So it's bringing the Monty Mall all around. Interesting. Pop. Pop. Perfect. Done. Excellent. Okay, that one was hard, but not as bad as the the ones I did last time. The um, the mini game ones; those were bad. Those were awful. So, how many stars am I missing here? Let's see. I got the um, uh, the skating guys at the start. Uh, I got this one. I got the penguins. I got the boss underwater. No, not the boss underwater. The cheap cheap underwater. The boss is different. The boss is a key. Um, I got the the um, the snowman and uh, the four in a row. The Doctor Mario mini game. That's six. Chip says, "Are you sure this game won't be done today? <laughs> if it's done today, I will eat my egg or something." How many stars are in this game? That's the big question. I'm leaving. That sound still puts me off because it I know it as the Joshi acquired sound in Mario Sunshine. Shrek says back, it sounds pretty good. A little distorted, but I see I think I see what you mean. Yeah, it's just it's just interestingly arranged synth music. Um wait, do I have the key? Did I get the key? I think I got the key, right? Can I go out and put the key into the hole? Chip says you got the key. All right, we key then. Lemon squeezy. Aha, uh -huh, there's the 
There's a thing. Okay, we need to go back to Iceland. And as it turns out, the journal was not in Ireland as it was originally thought, but in Iceland. Which is green, remember kids? Green Greenland is covered in ice and Iceland is covered in green. <laughs> That's just the way things are. star and I want to save it for later is that snowman does that do anything making the snowman dizzy does that do anything oof Shubik says while I was listening I saw a comment imagining if Mario was a puck in the ice level that's that's just Canadian. It's just the Canadian edition of Mario Pinball Land. It's Mario's cannot land. Why does Mario just go whoa 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 sometimes? Shouldn't he be always feeling weird about this? Why is he doing this? I mean, yeah, we know why, but why is he doing this specifically, like being a ball? Can he just be Mario and go through these? Imagine these worlds as regular Mario. <laughs> Imagine. Strobik says, I hear they were named after the first inspirations they gave. Iceland is surrounded by ice flows and Greenland has green algae on its coast or something like that. Also, the underwater music here sounds like Sonic's like first level music. What is it like green zone? Emerald zone? Isn't that the same thing green and emerald? We are we are criti we are critiquing the music in this game. Shall we say Green Hill? Oh, two stars. Mario can finally open his first restaurant. Need to open the chest. Uh, Chip says Green Hill Zone. Sharpix says Emerald Hill is a different place, but its name is probably a reference to Green Hill. I don't know anything about Sonic, and you should know that. You should know that I don't know. I wonder if anybody has reference that this music sounds like Green Hill. And I'm still trying to open that chest. There it is. Perfect. Um... Chips says Emerald Hill Zone is the opening area of Sonic 2. Actually, I'm curious. I'm gonna check. Hold on.
Let's see. Huh. Nope. Nope. No, nobody nobody knows. Nobody Oh, no, there it is. Sonic in my Mario? People say. <laughs> there it is. Um, Sharpix says, Sega really likes putting green heel in Sonic games these days, much to the consternation of us fans who would like to see new ideas or recycled ones. Well, guess what? Mario ne fans now know how that feels. Well, they have known for like 10 years now. Sharpix says, a chip Montana. Oh yeah, because Chip says, and Green Hills is the fictional town in California where Sonic lives in the movies. And yep, Shreve says that Chip Montana, and Chip says, "Whoops, it's not Cali. Not not everything is California. I know Australians think everything in the U.S. In, in everything interesting happens in either New York or California, and you'd be absolutely right." Shit. Okay. Okay. Remember my policy: fifteen seconds to get these two coins. Or delivery is free. Shit, same mistake. If you don't get your coins in 99 seconds, um, the pizza is free. Shrek says, I mean, part of the first movie is in San Francisco. Chip says, I thought California, since it's close enough to San Francisco. No, remember it's a road trip movie. So, oh, I should just let myself go. Okay, there's two coins here. Let's go. British? <laughs> let us compense for it. I, 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 I do like when, uh, when Roscoe brings that up. That meme. I obviously cannot mention the original version, but yeah. Two coins. Oof. Sharpix says, sorry, what? You know, the, um... <laughs> How do we put this meme? Somebody link the video, please, of what I'm... You know what? Link the original one. The, the, the strongly worded one. The, the, the R-rated version. Rated R for racist. <laughs> oh, this is taking too long. Longer than I would have preferred. Okay, I need to get out of here. Is the coin here? There's... Oh! Oh no, I used a coin. Whoops. Shrek says, I think I'm good, actually. No, you're not good. You're bad. You've been a bad boy. You must be punished. Oof. So where I saw I only saw one coin. Where's the other coin? Where is the other coin? Where is the other coin? I guess I'll figure it out. Whoops. Get me out of here. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. I should have left this area already. 23 seconds. Where's the other one? I don't think it's in the hole. Because I just came from the hole. 
Yeah, no. Well, let me see if I in if in these few seconds I can figure out where the other coin was. Nope. Oh, that's bad. Oof. I think I wasted too much time with these first coins. I want to at least discover where the coin is. If I can't get it, at least be able to see it. Okay, this sucks. Um, Chip says, let's go. Srevek says, are you sure this is the best place to do kink RP? Srevek <laughs> just sent three dots. Srevek says, I don't think you're supposed to come from the hole. Srevek <laughs> says, sorry, I tried my hardest to keep from saying that, but it was a perfect opportunity. No, no, you're mistaken. I set it up for you. It was my gift from me to you. It's a birthday gift. Don't you love how Norami just drops in and says one thing and then just leaves? Shit, I can't get out of here. I just wanna go! Fucking hell. How hard it is to get out of here in less than 10 seconds. Very hard, apparently. Yeah, that's very, very hard. And believe me, I don't think a star will help me. The problem here is aiming for the door. Shit. are gonna suck. Don't you love playing a game where you cannot aim? I mean, you can, but it's hard. So I said, you don't think they put coins in the tiny igloo, do you? No, because then it becomes inaccessible. It's inaccessible if you do not have a small room. I'm thinking it's, it's one of the two doors after this door. I was gonna check both. Either way. But I need to verify. I need to go. But I cannot leave! Maybe I'm just bad at this. And yeah, maybe. True. That's... That could be true. Just take me to one of the doors. Fucking hell. Again, not being able to tilt was a mistake. Oh, that would have been the perfect escape. That would have been the perfect escape. Just a spin to hit the door and a spin to leave. Take me home. Glory holes.
fuck. Okay, I'm messing up now. This is starting to get... Yeah, Chip, no, this game is not finishing today. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry to disappoint, but no. We did not take into account the many false attempts that I would have at many things that seem easy, but are not. Yeah, I'm not saving that. That was a big waste of time. I need to know where the last coin is. Where is Don Coinage? Okay, a door opened. Now take me to the door. Waste of fucking time. Uh, Chip says, yeah, I didn't think so. See? Authentic pinball physics, or is this just physics which are aimed to? Actually, I think actual pinball physics are worse because the ball is heavy. I have played with a few real pinball machines, and that ball is heavy as shit. You barely get any chances to bounce it. So, pinball pinballs in um. In video games are floatier. And that's their evil. <laughs> this Mario feels more like a beach ball. I still have the hope that I can make it out of here sub 10 seconds. Trubik says, the BGM sounds a little like circus music, like it's literally clowning on you. It is. You know what? I'll take that. That was a very fast opening of the door. Three seconds. Now, we need to get out of here. Uh, sure. You know what? Fuck it. I'll take that. I got 30 seconds to find the coin. 36 seconds to find the coin. I'm pretty sure it's not down here. One of those two doors, door number five or door number three. Not usually how this game goes, but... I wish the, the safe state screen was not as jarring so I could use it more discreetly. You know, like emulator safe states and loads. Take me to a door. Take me through the door. Fuck. No, I'm not using the star. I want to save the stars for later. There we go. It's not here. I think it's door three. If it's door three, I will eat egg. No, 
I do not need to be here. Take me to door 3. Now it's super easy to go through that door that I already know I do not need. Look! <laughs> Suddenly the game decided, yeah, let's just take him there. He doesn't need to be here, but it will be funny. I make. Okay, door three is open. I repeat, door three is open. Oh, push me there. Fuck. Not into the hole. Tired of these slippery bitches. I do not want the slippery bitches. I want. I want the three. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> How hard is it to go into that door with 35 seconds? I, I, I can very easily do the, the, the opposite. I can very easily go into door five. Is it because I am uh, supposedly left pod instead of... No, I am... Okay. I was supposed to be left pod, but I then I, I was forced to be right pod. Because, you know, riding with your left paw is sinful or something. I don't know how it works. Catholics, man. I swear. Yes, I swear. I swear a lot. See? If something... Fuck. See? Fucking... No, no, I'm not using the start. I love that no matter what happens, that little penguin's fate is sealed. He will always get smacked by Mario. I just wanna go into door three. I just want to go into door number three. I just wanna go into the door number three. I just wanna go... No, I'm not into the hole. So I says, I didn't know they still did that. Well, this was 20 years ago. So, maybe they don't do it anymore. <laughs> um, actually, almost exactly 20 years ago. Huh. Almost precisely 20 years ago, huh? Shrubik says, my grandmother had to put up with that as a kid, but nobody cared what pa I wrote with. Yeah, well, who you were lucky. Um, so I was forced to be right. And uh, the problem is that I ended up writing terribly with both. So uh, now I am a dysfunctional, <laughs> dysfunctional ambidextrous person. I can, I can write with both. But only in vertical surfaces, like whiteboards and chalkboards. And I heavily struggle with holding things 
like um, guns, swords, and um, what else? What else do I struggle with? I struggle with... Oh, I struggle with typing. And of course, grabbing pencils and pens. Shabik says, then again, I wasn't raised Catholic. Shabik says, says, ah, so you're ambi... ambi sinister. <laughs> Shrek says, just as bad with both hands. Indeed! That's that's a fun term. I like it. Yeah, I am I am not good at with Don't don't ask me to write something, because you will not understand. It's and it's not even pretty like doctor writing. It's it's just mangled letters. It sucks. Sucks as much as this! I just want to go into door number three. Why is that so hard? You know what? I think... I think I'm gonna be done after this. I'm losing my patience. Not even safe states, man. Not even safe states. Fuck. Would I be mistaken in saying that this specific room is biased towards the right side? I mean, towards going into the left door. Or is it me that is just thinking with the right? I'm trying to figure out what is causing this. At some point I'm just gonna blame Pythagoras. And just be like, hey, just because things are bouncing around. Yeah, it's your fault, man. Sorry. <laughs> Fucking hell. Sure, let's use the star. Like I, the perfect shot to go into door five when I do not need it. What if I just like flip at random flippers, random flippers? Fuck that. Fuck that. You know what? I'm gonna be so pissed if the red coin is not in door 3. 
At this point, it's the only place it, it can be. The only point they can think of. Why is it so hard to aim to the left? It's just the same thing, but to the left. There's a coin! Oh no! Five seconds! Are you kidding me? Yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. So there's a coin. I finally was able to make it into door three, but with five seconds to spare. traps here. There's a hole. There's door five. Why is it so hard? See, I keep doing that, that shot. I shouldn't do that shot. But if I don't do that shot... Conan, hello, Conan says, howdy, Rick and chat, and then just sent a hi, Rick, and then a tentacle, very threateningly behind the Rick. Tim says the suffering continues, I see. It just started. Well, I've been here for half an hour, but I just need to go in through the door to the left. I mean, the, the right. Why is that so hard? right-handed, you are biased to shoot to the left with the right flipper. That's what's happening. Fuck. Conan says, at Rick, that's no tentacle to the weasel in the wind. I don't know. I can't see it. It's too small. It looks like a tentacle from where I'm sitting. At this point, I'm pissed. I have no patience. I will call people out. I am in no bullshit mode. says, okay, fair, that's a wiggling snake tail. Yeah, it looked like a tentacle from far away. And Conan says, fair enough. Fuck. Tim says, I love the sounds the penguins make. It's a shame their destiny within the Mario universe is suffering. In the half hour that I've been trying to do this, I've gone into the hole, 
the gutter and the five door multiple times. Times I've gone into the door number three once. How can it be so hard to pull that off? That makes no sense. Zar, hi, hello. Zar says the penguins shall pay forever for the crimes of their forefathers. I am not using the star. I do not need the star. I just need to go into that door. I can perfectly go into the five door without using the star. Why can't I do that with the door three? Why? Fuck using the star. This is starting to feel like a very surreal dead save. Like, this should not be a dead save. But somehow, this scenario that I put myself in causes going into the into the three door being a rare event, somehow. Okay, I'm gonna try something weird. Let's see what happens. So, I was holding the controller upside down. I wanted to see if that could... Maybe... I feel like it's my brain doing it. My brain is like... The me muscle memory that I have formed is biased towards sending things to the left side of the screen. Somehow. Fuck it, let's use the star. Maybe that will get rid of the penguins and I can experiment with crazy Fucking hell, are you kidding me? So I had to use a star to get myself out of the whatever Are you kidding?
extra ball! Fuck this. Okay, good enough. Good enough. Um, um Hi Rigiro, hello, Rigiro says hello. And Zar, hi, Zar says hey uh. Conan says howdy Zar, no one and Tim says Jiha Chip says uh finally and Conan says freedom for Weasel. Okay, I've had enough. That's it. I'm done. Yeah, sorry if you're just tuning in. I, um... I've been at this for almost two hours. And, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm bored now. I guess you could call it boredom. So, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. So, thank you again for all this, whatever, yada yada. Tim says, anything that keeps you away from Mario Pinball Land is valid. Any impulse. Yeah, so that's it. Um, what are the plans now? Here are the plans. Chip says, bye bye, Weasel. Hold on, I'm, I'm giving out my plans. So, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow I plan on playing uh, Mario Stream Buffet again. Um, but this time I wanted to have uh, people, so whoever has a game is more than welcome if you're on the Discord server. Uh, I will have a voice call. And uh, whoever has the game can join in. Or you know what, if it's, if it's too dead, I guess. Even if you don't have the game, you can join, whatever. Uh, I don't know. Ideally, people who had the game, because it's going to be a channel mostly for shit-talking. For, I want to shit-talk people live. I want to embrace the salt. So yeah, if anybody has the game, I'm, I'm going to do another reminder. Tomorrow morning, hopefully, if I remember. But yeah. Tim says, I'm ready. Oh, am I just going to be playing with Tim? Okay, Strabek says, you mean Kirby, right? You were just playing the Ball Mario game. Yeah, I'm gonna go from Ball Mario to Ball Kirby. Because it's, it's all about balls. And what what was... Why was... um, Why was... What does... Ah! What does the outer worlds have to do with balls? Well, you know, planets. There. That's the balls. Strabek says, I have the game too. Okay, so you can join, sure. If you want, if you have the time. I, it's your it's your call. I don't know. So yeah, that's tomorrow. Uh, stream time. Be there early, cause I do take a bit to do the setup. Zara says these balls, Limau. Tim says Herculeans only. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, next week, what am I good? What am I gonna do next week? Next week is new game. On Monday, there's a new game. Actually, it's a game that I've been wanting to play for several months now. I've had it just waiting in the backlog. I'm glad that I'm finally be able to take it out. I'm excited. Um, don't worry, it's a chill game. It's a very, very chill game. Or at least I'm hoping it is. But at some point, I feel like I'm gonna start to lose it with it. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I need to remind myself more often that I can just drop any game at any time and just come back to it later. That's perfectly acceptable. I don't know what I'm not doing that more often. 
my excuse for the outer worlds was because I feel I feel I felt that I had to take care of that game already because the space game is coming and that's gonna be my definitive space game of course I'm gonna have to come back to journey to the forbidden planet and the outer worlds at some point because of the respective DLC <sighs> but <sighs> eventually Shrek says I have the time I'm still getting used to the game though it's fine we're probably around the same skill level Um, so yeah, new game, and what am I gonna do next Tuesday? My options are either I keep playing Mario Pinball Land, or I go back to Kirby. I'll see how I feel. Either could happen. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna be playing Kirby's uh, Dream Buffet more next week. I want to do something different next week. We'll see. So yeah, that's it for now. Thank you very much for coming and with putting up with this and my endless safe states. It's the only way that this game is playable. I'm sorry. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, have a good night. Have a good evening, afternoon, day, morning, or whatever you have on your side of the planet. And I'll be seeing you again very, very soon. Maybe. I hope. Yeah, so this was Rick, that whistle that you know, signing off for now. Um, Conan says, rest well, Wiz. Thanks, I might. We'll see. I have <laughs> I have a, an episode of a show to watch. Oh, and Chip got the dum-dum. We need to stop doing this. We need to stop doing the dum-dum before I sign off, okay? But yeah, Chip got the dum-dum and it's cotton candy. Out. I hate cotton candy, thanks. I hate this flavor so much. It's, fun fact, it's one of the flavors I get the most through mystery dum-dums. I guess they just had a lot of them. But thanks. Zara says, in case I don't see you, good afternoon and good night. Oh, nice reference. Zach says, no, Zara says, fuck, good evening as well. Yeah, you missed that. You missed that. You did not do the reference correctly. Chip says, oops, sorry, it's fine, who cares? Dryback says, good night, see you tomorrow. All right, see you then. Bye. I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs>